So hi, Jocelyn. Hello. We're going to now talk about number data, and then that will be all we need to know about variables in Python. Yes, um, because we have already introduced Boolean before. Sure. I think. Yeah, I think we are either we are going to. Yeah, I think we're going to talk the, about Boolean later. When with we, the if statement. Yeah, with stuff. the if statement. But now like we're focusing on strings and numbers. OK, so number data, it's different from strings for the obvious reason of numbers are numerical. Yeah and strings are words or letters. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then also all the math operations work with number data, but mm -hmm. they don't all work with words. We saw multiplication works and addition works. Yeah, but there doesn't mean the same thing. I mean, if you do a word plus word, you actually connect word together. But That's if you do right. two plus two, it equals to four. I see. So it have different meanings too in terms of using the same operations. So there's a lot of differences, but there's also a lot of similarities. Yeah, they are as far as the code. Mm -hmm. And so with numbers, so then we're going to do lists with numbers, mm -hmm. and we're going to see you index those lists, slice them where you choose a range, yes. and then add new items to the list. Yeah, that's basically what we have already teach about string list, but we can apply a similar thing to the number list, and actually we're going to talk about more about how to remove a list item from the list and how to append an item to the list. So you can also apply actually apply all of this in string list, uh -huh. but we're just going to talk more about numbers. Okay, well let's get started. Yeah, sure. So just like how we created a um, string list, we can also create a number list. Um, let's call this square. So we're at the bottom of the screen. Here. Yes, we are. Let's oh. let square be one four eight one. Four, nine, sixteen, and twenty-five, which is all squares. Yes. And um, the similar to what we have in the uh, string list, if we do a um, index at position zero, or print as one, mm -hmm. and if we index at position five, oh, it's all of range, so mm -hmm. it will be twenty-five. Right. So. It's, I'll just use the cursor here, mm -hmm. 0, 1, 2, 3, three four. 4. Yes, so you can only index up to 4. Yes. You cannot index up to 5. Um, otherwise, it'll show up error. Actually, you can also index backwards. Kay. So if you do minus 1, it'll show 25. Ooh. And if you do minus 4, it shows a 4. Can you just do minus 2? It should show 16, right? Yes, it does. Wow. Yeah. I so never can, knew about that. Yeah. So you can either forward or backwards indexing. <coughs> so the last marks. item on any list is negative one. Yes. Okay. True. So you can also slice the index. Obviously, if we do um, one to two, it'll give us four. One to three goes four and nine. Sure, slicing. But, we did but that we can also, because we teach you now about how to do backwards indexing. Mm. We can do um, from minus three to the, to if the you, end of the list. Yes, if you, after the colon, if there's nothing numbers there, it's assuming you're um, going to the end of the list. Cool, so we can see the last three items of the list by just typing negative three colon. Yes, but in the opposite, if you want to, um, this will show shows up everything before the negative three oh, sure. element. So it's pretty powerful. That's very powerful. Yes. I think that was the best thing you've shown me so far. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so the lists are mutable, which means you can change it, the element at any time. So you will have a cube called one, two, three, um, it's not actually a cube done, uh, one, eight, 27, 65, and 125. Okay. And you realize, oh, we typed the wrong thing because this four cube should be 64. Aha, uh -huh, we made a small mistake. Yes. I so, hadn't even noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's change that. Um, so the index at 65 is 3. Let it be 4 to the power of 3. <gasps> and if we do that, now it changed to 64. Now there's no errors because you just typed out the math. Yes. So That's really cool. How about we want to add more element to the list? We can use a function called append. If we do cube.append um, 216, you mm. add 216 while append to the last position. Now, if I did cubes append mm -hmm. 216, comma something else, um, would it add try. two items to the list? 
Yeah. No, you can well, only it takes add exactly one. Yes, argument. you can only add one at a time, but. And as far as firsts go, that was the first error I've ever understood. <laughs> <laughs> but if you append it with mm. the, um, you can append something else to it. So, mm -hmm. but it has to be one object because this is a list. Mm -hmm. So, you have to be careful about what you're doing here. Sure. So, um, what happens if we want to remove a list, an, an element? We can use, um, how about removing one from the cube? Mm -hmm. We'll assign it to a empty list. If we, that's not working. I think you need to do. Um. Yes. Okay, can you start over again? So we want to remove one from the list? Yes. Um, How do we do that? Well, can we use, you can cut this part, right? Um, we're not really going to cut much out of the video. Okay. <laughs> this is live, coming to you from... Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> yep, so let's start over again because we're sort of messed up with the list. Oh, okay, so we're just, that's okay, it's okay. We're making a list. Um, Jocelyn is retyping it because she mistyped something. Yes, we are. So if you want to remove something from the list, mm -hmm. um, you can do a um, slicing on the element itself, which is, if you, suppose we want to remove one. Yeah. We have to assign cube from zero to one. Yeah. Equals to empty. Okay. And if we print cubes again, now one is removed. Okay. So basically, we we replaced one mm -hmm. with nothingness. Yes. Okay. But and that you deleted have to, it. Yes, but you have to do a slicing operation here. with a with a slice. Yes. So if. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was the mistake you made earlier. Was you didn't slice. You just yeah. called it up and. And it doesn't work. work because it add a new. It replaced with an empty list to the, that original position. Yes. so it got really messed up. Yes, it does. <laughs> so if we, how about we clear the entire list? Ooh. We have to slice the entire list and replace it with an empty list. And now if we print that again, it's empty sure. list. Sure, that was predictable. Yes. Um, so I think this is all I have for numbers. Okay, well that's a lot to think about. And we can do all of these operations to mm -hmm. any set of numbers. Yes, we could. We can actually have um, use apply those append and remove techniques to um, string lists too. Okay, so any kind of list. Mm -hmm. So let's just go back to our um, what we were going to do with um, these lessons here mm -hmm. and just review really quick. So basically we're talking about variables and using data in programming. Now that I've seen so many different uses of data, mm -hmm and how you can get like the last item of a list or the you know all that stuff and change things in the list it makes a lot more sense so we need that in programming yes we do and then we use variables to do that and that can either be text or string data mm -hmm. um, or the other type is number data yes. mm -hmm. and the we went over the differences and how to manage those different types of data yes and we also have introduced the difference between a single element and the entire list which contains many multiple elements of the same type that's right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank we, you. We covered a lot in a short amount yes, of time. Yes, we are. Bye, everyone. Bye.